four, five weeks. And if you've watched any of my videos in the past, you know that I've been working on trying to get my own dinner plates, uh, organic kind of goosey goosey. And I finally got a style and a pattern and a flavor I like. And there are eight of them in here and two pieces, which I'm very nervous about, that are going into a show. Uh, and they're due next Friday. So this is my only opportunity. If there's a crack or a break or a broken, I'm sort of out of luck. So it's one of those owie kind of kilns. Could be great, could be very heartbreaking. First piece at the very top here looks lovely. Now my husband normally, I'm sorry, my husband normally helps me take the pieces, takes them away, but he just had surgery on this foot. So he can't be any weight bearing at all. So he's pretty much off the card. So he's in the background being the tech. <laughs> Uh, but can't really move much. There he is. There's his little sweet thumb. <laughs> Always supportive. So um, it looks like we had a great cone. Six. Perfect. I love it. Love it. Love it. Get in the front. And my very first plate, I had, oh, damn. Damn, damn, damn. What I hoped, I made these cookies because they stuck to the shelf last time. And... It stuck to the cookie. That's not good. That's not good at all. So, I don't know. Oh, it popped off. And it's not too bad. So, maybe sort of good. I'll bring it up to the camera myself. And you'll see that each one of the designs are very different. Either I organically cut the outside. No pattern, no rhythm to it. They aren't alike. They're similar, but not alike. And... My husband and I, Dan, and I really like <clears throat> smaller plates to eat on. I think we have gotten, as a uh, country, into these huge, enormous plates. When we went to Italy, everything was smaller plates. They ate a lot, but, um, but a little bit at a time. So I thought maybe that would be something I would really like to embrace again myself. So, And I finally got a really pretty stamp. It's uh, JoleneCreates.com from Taylor, T-A-I-L-O-R, that kind of tailor, tailored made stamps. Really lovely lady, does a great job. Very happy about that. So, and then uh, plate number two, I hope I don't have to fight with each one to get it off. Cookie, please don't fight. Oh, I didn't cookie this because I didn't put any glaze because it was a lower bottom. Again, it's me. Um, as you can see, it really does. I think it's very pretty, very pretty indeed. So there's two of my dinner plates. Oh, hang on. So like I said, this is mainly all plates. Oh, and it's stuck to this one too. Oh, dang it. So these are gonna kind of be, I'll mess with them later. I hope they will come off, but as you can see, it just kind of winds in and around. And there's the cookie, firmly stuck. I think a little tap with a rock. I've been working a long time on these plates, trying to get them done. I think that came out really nice. I'll put two together so you can see how they're quite, each one is unique in its own way. Let's see, they're similar but not the same. So I think they're very pretty. And then this one has it on the back. Okay, to deal with any of that. There we go. Oof. I think I have a total of eight plates in here, a lot. Ah, every single one stuck to the stinking cookie. Yep, pretty plate though. Let's hope I can get it off. Okay. Oh, this one's, oh, they all stuck. Jeez. So what that tells me is I have to do that uh, alumina hydrate on the cookies. 
have a little bubble right there, but it's still, it, it's solid. It's not, um, it'll still be food safe. Let's put this here. I'm gonna do these. And put this down here. Okay, so this is the uh, jar. Oh. And uh, she came out quite pretty, I think. Is it going to be able to go into the show? Mm, probably. What I might do is right here, I don't know if you can see it, there's a fine, fine, fine hairline crack. Now, there are a few things I can try and do. I left this porcelain portion raw, the very inside. The very inside is glazed so that it will hold water to here. Um, the exterior of the body, I don't know if you can see it, is glassy and glazed. And then the bottom is raw, raw clay. Um, it's a beautiful piece. I hope it'll do well and I hope I can get it so that I can show it. We'll see. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Because I don't have any more time to make any more. And that's how that goes. Cookies, I keep talking about cookies. What are cookies? Cookies are pieces that you make ahead and you place your piece on this so it won't stick to your shelf and damage the shelf. So that's what a cookie is. And um, it's great, but <coughs> apparently my porcelain really, really likes to stick because it moves so much, shrinking, contracting and shrinking during the firing. And it looks as though I have an absolutely, these are just. They're pretty nice. They're, these are beautiful firings. Um, we're getting better and better at the cone six thing. Now, if I could just get things not to stick, it would be a joy. Hopefully by the time Jane gets all the editing done, this will be a very short video. <laughs> um, I am very happy with my plates, by the way, just, just so you know. I think they're really attractive and they really are what I have been working towards. Disappointed about them sticking. Um, I really do love the plates, except the sticking is kind of a nuisance. But what I'm lucky with is that uh, for Christmas, Dan bought me the Diamond Core bats. Um, so I can, whatever chips in the foot, I can grind and make them perfectly level and will be beautiful. But my challenge is gonna be getting them off. But not now. But again, as you can see, inside they're really pretty. Backs look good. Things are nice. It's just uh, kind of a nuisance. There we go. And every single one stuck. I can't believe it. They all stuck, Dan. Yep. Wow. Uh, what an absolute nuisance. Well, I have some work to do after the video, that's for sure. And this is it. The, sh the, the shelf that I'm about to reveal has the piece for the show. Those are all the plates I've done. And this is the... <gasps> is it good or bad? It's weird. <laughs> it's extremely weird. Not at all what I was expecting. I don't see a huge crack. That's a good thing. Oh, yes, it did. Damn. Ah. Wow, look at that. Is that a crack down the bottom of it? That certainly is, right there. The top is so ah. So here's where the big crack is, right there. And what I am going to do with this is, I, there's a Japanese art of, it's called uh, wabi-sabi. And wabi-sabi is a form of uh, embrace the imperfection. Nothing is perfect in this world, in ourselves or in our pottery or in anything. So. What I'm going to do is I am going to paint this gold right here to highlight 
24 karat real gold. And back here to highlight the fact that it does have a crack. This is a decorative shallow bowl. And as you can see, you know, there, there's nothing you could really serve much in this bread maybe. And that won't be a problem. But mainly it's for decoration. And you can see how the back looks. The foot was really pretty. A lot of work went into this. This is a huge, huge bowl. It's probably 16 inches across, maybe. And um, it's going to go in the show, but you can be sure absolutely nothing will come of it. Except I like the idea of embracing the crack. I hope, do I have that at the right angle so they yep, can see yep, that? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, so this will all be 24 karat gold. And uh, I'll put it in the show, not to hide the fact that there's a problem but to embrace it. So uh, that's it for this kiln opening. And uh, it wasn't as heartbreaking as I had thought, but it certainly wasn't as joyful either. So uh, have a great day.